So most people are using ChatGPT wrong and they seem to be drowning in endless chats. ChatGPT introduced this new projects feature, but that was privy to only the paid plans. Now they've extended this to everybody and honestly, it's an incredible feature. But if you're not using it, you're really missing out. Let's talk. So you might be using ChatGPT like this. Lots of individual chats that are cluttering your sidebar. And for each new task, you start a fresh chat. You enter your instructions and you keep repeating this process time and again. Eventually, you'll end up with this endless list of chats that's becoming difficult to navigate. But just imagine what your sidebar would look like after a few months or even a whole year. And that's exactly why this ChatGPT projects functionality is so valuable. So you might ask, what are these ChatGPT projects? So the real issue is that standalone chats don't build one on top of the other. Every time you start, it's from zero. Now projects fix this. They act like smart folders or workspaces inside of ChatGPT. Say you're researching a topic or a task. You can keep all of that inside this folder and you can have multiple projects. For example, you could be doing a research paper, a business plan or a travel itinerary for your next holiday. Now projects help you build on top of your previous work. So every time you work on a new topic, you can create a project instead of working on standalone chats. But you know what's the real magic? You can add plenty of files and add instructions along with it. So ChatGPT doesn't just save them. It actually reuses your files and instructions every time it makes a chat and everything stays inside that project. Unless of course you choose to share it across projects. So imagine a scenario where the team members on your project keep changing. How to keep them up to date. You need to constantly educate them about this project. What a mess. And that is really painful, isn't it? Now, previously ChatGPT worked in just the same way. You had to repeatedly explain the baseline instructions, the context and upload documents, provide insights in each standalone chat. Now with projects, you can drop in all of your files, your PDFs, your documents, and even code. And once you set the context, just once, for the whole thing, you're ready to go. And those instructions, those baseline instructions, you can just give it once and reuse them everywhere. And after that, ChatGPT just carries out this context into every chat in that project. No need to re-explain things. Wonderful, isn't it? So here's how I used projects myself and why this, I feel, really works in practice. Let's take an example. So I needed to file my taxes in Malaysia just a few months back. And I do understand parts of the tax law, but I needed validation just to ensure that I was completing everything correctly. But that means I need to remember 600 pages of tax law. Ugh, that's overwhelming. And it's quite impossible to cross reference in just one afternoon. Now I do have an accountant to verify my calculations and finally to help me file this off with the income tax department. Now to create that project, I click on this new project from the side panel and I'll give it a name, Malaysian Income Tax. How innovative. I want everything for this project kept inside of it. So it's all in one place. So for that, I'll pick this project only option to keep it separate. Now I'm ready to create the project. So to distinguish this project from other projects, I'll give this a different icon. I'll change this color a bit to red to make it stand out. Now what I can do is to assign this specific color, any color that you choose to any ongoing project so that I can see all of them in the one go in the list on the side. Now it's time to upload this tax law into ChatGPT. And for that, I'll use this add files button. Now for this example, I'll just upload this one file, but I think you get the point. You can upload multiple files into a project. Now let's set some context. For that, I'll click on these uh, three dots. That's at the top right and I'll then select edit instructions. Now in this case, there's some information in Malaysia that's in Malay, the local language, and I want everything to be returned in English so that I understand it perfectly. So I'm gonna set some rules. Always reply in English, keep it short, don't use emojis, please don't use M dashes and fix the formatting along the way. Now I can return anytime to review and add more information. And I might want that to be available across all chats within this project. So after setting up these baseline instructions, I can go to the main project page and ask questions. Let's say I want some information about depreciation. 
I can simply ask my question within the project. So you'll realize that ChatGPT now has reference to the act and all my baseline instructions. And when I provide my question, it'll quickly give me my response. Now what you'll notice is it includes all these relevant references, including these case references in the answer. And I can continue to ask follow-up questions about depreciation if I need to. And all of these conversations about depreciation, they're neatly stuck into one chat. And whenever I have additional questions about depreciation, I can return to this thread. Now let's say I have information that I need on another topic, say capital gains. But then I start a new chat from the project homepage. And this way, all my answers stay organized into one folder and I can pull them up whenever I need it. Now ChatGPT applies the same files and instructions to every new chat in the project. So I don't re-explain things, the problem that I had when we started. And you can apply this approach to any field, any topic, any business, whether it's communications, marketing, social media, operations, or finance. And it also applies, it's incredibly useful when you're running a business, you're teaching, or you simply want to explore a hobby or an interest. There is something though that you need to know at the back of your head. Otherwise you might just trip this up. Now each plan, each ChatGPT plan unlocks different features. And if you don't know the limits, you will run into problems fast. For example, under the free plan, you can get up to five files per project. Now that goes up to about 25 under the plus or the education plan. But the highest tier is about 40 files for the business or the enterprise plan. Now on the paid plan, you can upload 10 files at one go per project. And you can even set the memory to stick at the project level if you want it. Now there's no limitation on the number of projects that can be created, but people have also tested it and they found that there's some kind of an upload limit of around 512 MB for a single file. That's quite a lot for a Word document, but not maybe for media. But OpenAI hasn't really published this number. Now CSV and Excel files seem to max out much lower, around 50 MB. And images too seem to have a lower edge, around 20 MB, I think. Now ChatGPT also calculates Word as something called tokens, with an average of about four characters of English text representing a token. I think of token like Lego blocks for calculation purposes. And so that you know, each file tops out at around 2 million tokens. Now while there are a ton of positives from the new project feature, there are a few things it just can't do yet. Now each chat inside of a project is its own conversation. And even though these files and instructions are Share. Chats don't automatically see each other. Secondly, you can't create subfolders or subprojects yet. Number three, projects are personal only, so you can't invite teammates, hey, come here, into the same project space. Projects can't connect to apps or external tools like these custom GPTs that they've introduced.